National Road Safety Authority is promising to do better at reducing number of road crashes this year. A total of 14,960 crashes. 14,960 crashes were recorded in Ghana in 2022 with over 2,373 people losing their lives in those accidents. Let's go through some of the numbers uh, from the table that the National Road Safety Authority themselves have released regarding um, the number of accidents and then a further breakdown of where these numbers or these accidents occurred. So on your screens now, uh, it's so about 7.55 percentage increase in road crashes compared to 2021. Uh, Actually, there's a reduction, I should say. And look at the injuries. Over 15,690 people in 2022 sustained different uh, types of injuries during these, uh, the year under review, and then some of them also have been maimed for life. The death from the 2022 statistics of road accidents is in excess of 2,373. That is 2,000 human lives lost in accidents. And then the total number of vehicles involved 25,754, and then um, those who were also knocked down, pedestrians who were knocked down just by virtue of the fact that they were using the roads, uh, about 2,680 human beings were knocked down by road, uh, by vehicles. So the, the, the advantage or the interesting point of note is that if you compare these figures to that of 2021, there seemed to have been a marginal decline in road accidents. Um, you know, so 14,000 crashes happened in 2022, 16,000 happened in 2021. So there's been a fair reduction in that. And then all the other statistics show that there have been marginal reduction. 27,000 vehicles were involved in 2021, but in 2022, it's about 25,000, about 2,000 or a little over 1,000 in terms of the cars that were involved. And then also 2,680 people uh, were knocked down as against 2,973 um, you know, people who were knocked down in 2021. So there's been some marginal effort uh, in terms of the numbers of people who were involved in various kinds of accidents or were knocked down. The numbers have reduced, but they are still high. We are still counting over 2,000 human beings who have been affected in that regard. So we'll see what it means, especially going forward, uh, what the Road Safety Authority intends to do if they say they will increase efforts. What efforts are these and how can you, the road user, also contribute to that?